Hello. So I wanted to talk a little bit how um, about how I got into product design and how long I've been doing it and um, sort of my general process of how I sort of have got to where I am today. Um, so from a very young age, I've always loved making things. Um, Anything, I, I would love it. Um, we, I can't, I can't give you some examples when I was very young because I can't remember. But the standard sort of boysy stuff that you make, um, bow, bows and arrows, little guns, um, traps, all that kind of stuff, um, bird boxes, um, and I was also, I was also actually quite big into. Um, selling things as well but that's that's for a different time um so i knew i loved making things and a lot of the time i made stuff because i didn't have the money to buy it um so what i do i look at all the parts that how they need to be done and then i try and make it to the best of my abilities um so my signature piece i guess at the time was when i was 14 and um, I heard there was going to be loads and loads of snow, so I decided to make a snowboard. It took me two weeks to make. Made it in the garage in the freezing cold, and um, it actually worked really, really well. I managed to um, I used some old um, rollerblade boots and um, sort of mounted those onto uh, some plywood, which I put in like a. Um, I made a. Well, looking back at it, it was a pretty terrible um, like mold, but. Um, or former, but they were they were glued together pieces of ply board, um, which then made it stiff enough, and I had the nice, you know, the bow in the middle, and then the the tips were bent up at either end, um, and then I did like a whole sort of artwork on the back, um, inspired by Burton, uh, waxed it all with the iron, broke my mum's iron, um, she wasn't happy about that, and um, yeah, it worked really well. Uh, it was doing jumps on it and everything, and. And then, um, yeah, one day I did a, a really big jump, landed on right on the nose, and it broke, which I was pretty pissed off about. But um, oh, it was great while it lasted. Really, really fun. Um, so yeah, that was at fourteen. I I did um, DT at school, which was shit, to be perfectly honest. Um, in fact, I nearly didn't choose it at A level because of that. Um, it was. Yeah, it was, it was so bad. It was so boring. Um, there was nothing inspiring about it at all. Um, so, well, when it, when I went to go to college, um, I had to choose the subjects, and I thought I'd go in and see the product design sector, uh, sector section, whatever. And um, straight away, I was like, this is where I need to be. I didn't even know there was a thing called product design back then, so... I just thought it was DT. Anyway, so I found out this thing that I liked doing was called product design. So that was like a, a bit of a light bulb moment for me. Um, in there, they had lathes, uh, metal wood lathes, um, dip casting stuff. Um, what they have? Well, a whole range of computers that worked, which was, was cool. Um, a 3D printer, a basic one. It was like a maker bot at the time. I, well, it wasn't one of the good ones, but. It was the first one I saw, and I was like, wow. Well, the first one I saw in person, I was like, this is so cool. So I'm, like, geeking out, and um, so I'm speaking to the tutor, and he's... I can't even remember what the first encounter was like, but we'll, we'll come on to that. So then I went to, to A-level, and um, my tutor was John. Um, probably shouldn't say his second name, but probably the most influential person at the time in regards to um, my development in product design and my work ethic. Um, well, I, my work ethic was okay, but not like, he pushed me a lot harder than I thought I could go. Uh, I'm a very competitive person and um, he sort of found this out and um, used that, not against me, but to make me work as hard as I could, um, to the point where 
I was a little bit sleep deprived for a lot of the times. This is the first time I've ever really worked for something so long and, and been so sleep deprived. Um, I think one week I did 123 hours um, solid. That was my own fault.